on, enjoy it. Go on, out, disappear. Go on. Mm. And if you'll just excuse me. Where are you going? I'm going upstairs. Never mind, never mind where I'm going. God, I'm going to see a man about a dog, actually. Oh. Mm. God, can't go anywhere without being closely questioned these days. They've got no respect, you know. Why, when I were a lad, we knew the meaning of the word respect. Oh, I am. We knew the meaning of the word work as well. And we knew the meaning of the words corrugated iron. Although a fat lot of use that did me. Then he rode up. Excuse me. Excuse me. Would you stop doing stop doing that? For the blooming ecky thump do you think you're doing? It's atmosphere. I mean atmospheric music. Well, I don't want atmospheric music, especially not in the privy. Oh. Now get out. Go on, out, out. Thank you. Thank you very much. All I want is a moment's peace, and I get some twit giving me atmospheric music wherever I go. So uh, we're agreed, then, eh? <laughs> That was a brilliant suggestion of yours, Sissy. Scampy said he'll stay behind and look after the shop, whilst the three of us go with Matthew. <laughs> if we can persuade him to take us... Oh, I don't think there's much fear there. What, what, what are you lot doing? Uh, uh, we, uh, we wanted to talk to you, Matthew. It's about the good old days. Yes. You see, since you keep telling us how good they were, we yeah. wondered if you would like to show us exactly what you mean. <laughs> Well, as it happens, what they had to say did make a lot of sense. You see, just about two miles from Manchester International Airport is a remarkable Victorian working mill, preserved just the way things were well over a hundred years ago. It's open to the public, and Sooty Sweep and Sue had wanted to see it for ages. So here they are, arriving. The thing is that they said that since I like old-fashioned things, I should use an old-fashioned form of transport to get here. Shanks' his pony, walking. But what they don't realise is they're playing right into my hands. You see, they think I don't want to be walking along here in the freezing cold with no coat wearing clogs. But they are wrong because I love it. Why, when I were a lad, we used to walk to school and back again and we didn't have no clogs at all. Oh, no, we used to wear paper bags on us feet. And they weren't new bags either, because then we're saved for Sundays. No, and when it rained, we used to take paper bags off us feet and put them in us pockets, and we used to walk on us hands. Excuse me, excuse me, just a minute. Wait, I can warn you, you're fucking hitting me. Put it, get, get up, get up. Please stop, stop it, it, for goodness sake. <sighs> Right, where were we? Yes, why, well, when I were a lad, we used to walk to school with paper bags on us hands and us feet and sometimes over us heads. Yes, well, that's quite enough of that, thank you very much. Goodness me, I could even bore myself. Anyway, whilst I'm making my weary way to the mill, Sooty Sweep and Sue are already in there. And it looks as if they're having a very interesting time, too. Here's Sue watching someone doing some silk screen printing. And here's Sweep. Having a look at the water wheel. Ah, now here is John Gregg, the original mill owner. And here is his eldest son, Robert. And here's the master of the quarry, Edward Gregg. And here is the mill owner's wife, Jane Cunningham. And here's... Ah, it's you! Oh, of course it's me. God, do you know something? I think I've gone off the old days a bit. These clogs are killing my feet. I'll have a sit down, give them a bit of a rest. I'll tell you what... This is a fantastic room, isn't it? This must have been the governor's office. They probably sat in that seat there, giving out orders and handing out the pay, things like that. Tell you what, things were very tough in those days. Mind you, when I say tough, I mean tough but fair. It would probably have been called the... It would probably have been called the works foreman, and he would... He would have sat in that seat there, and all the employees or workers. Just a minute. They would have queued up on these. They would have queued up on these very floorboards, waiting to receive their pay. Some of the workers were only ten years old, or even younger, and. Some of them were orphans, 
didn't have any mummies or daddies, and... They would, of course, have lived at the apprentice's house up, up the road. Come on. Of course, the... From before sunup to after sundown, and all for a pittance. Ah, there he is. More atmospheric music. Well, you can keep it. I don't want it. Oh, sit down, rest my tuxes. Oh, they're killing me. Oh, oh. oh, tell you what, I could probably get used to this being the boss. Oh yes, being a boss would. Uh, Suit me down to the ground. Oh, yes. Suit me. <sighs> down to the ground. Down to the ground. Down to the ground. Down to the ground. Who? What? Who is it? Who? Oh. Please, sir. It's me, sir. And what do you, the factory oik, want with likes of me? Manager at Mill, eh, laddie? <laughs> Please, sir, I want some wages, sir. <laughs> nah, laddie, there's got to do a bit of work before they can have any wages. Now, go and get us a grumbling bar from Spraking Shed, and then I'll think about some wages. <laughs> Aye, a grumbling bar from Spraking Shed. <laughs> A grumbling bath and breaking shed. You know, you're a right attractive little panda, you are. Them little eyes, eh? Look, why don't you uh, pop up to Great House at the end of that shift and we can uh, talk about that promotion. <laughs> what do you want? You got a grumbling bar from Spraking Shed? I did not ask for a grumbling bar from Spraking Shed. I wanted a Saganocker's Bottom Flint from Warping House. Now, what did I want? Saganocker's Bottom Flint from Warping House. Correct. Now, go. Right. <laughs> A second knock his bottom swing from walking out. Manager of a Victorian mill? No, of course not. Whew. Well, that's a relief. Tell you what, sweet. Here we are. There's a pound for you. That's a week's wages. You're a very good apprentice. Yes. Oh, and Sue, there's a pound for you as well. That's for you just for being pretty. Thank you. And Scampy, here's a pound. Well, that's just a, a bonus for your pocket money. Yes. Now, Sooty, come here. There's a pound for you and a kiss. That's just to say I'm glad that we're living in the 20th century. There we are. Let's say goodbye, shall we? Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. See you again soon.